Hey everybody, my name is Chris. Welcome to Casual Fragrances. So today's video is my four sentimental fragrances. So I was tagged by Mox from Aki Fragrances. Hope that was good enough. But anyway, all jokes aside, uh, he has an amazing channel. Definitely check out his channel. Leave his link down below to his channel. And he's a, he has a beautiful wife, man. So congratulations, bro. You deserve it all. So, um, tag videos are pretty cool. So let's just get on with the video. So these are four fragrances in my collection that I feel like have some type of a story or some type of uh, value behind it or story. So here we go. I have no honorable mentions. So my number four is from the House of Christian Dior. And it's my number one designer house. And yeah, I'm going to get a lot of shit for that. But I love this house. Always have and always support them. I'm still not the biggest fan of Dior Homme 2020. One of the worst releases. But anyway, enough rambling. So it's, uh, my number four is Your Sauvage EDT. So this fragrance here is a great, you know, you can call it your fresh and clean, your shower gel, your Ambroxan Bomb, whatever you want to call it. This is a fresh and clean fragrance, one of the longest out there at designer wise. A little bit expensive, but you can find a little discounted for a couple bucks. But this one here is a nice memory because when I bought this fragrance, I was wearing it, you know, going on dates and stuff. And then I met my girlfriend Kelly, which is my girlfriend now, but back then I was dating her and she enjoyed me wearing this. She wasn't even into fragrances, how much I was a nut into fragrances. She likes fragrances now more and she appreciates fragrances and the art and stories behind it. She loved this one, Your Sauvage you'd say, and we start, started dating. I wore this fragrance. She enjoyed it. Her friends enjoyed it around me and we went to a couple uh, business um, meetings for her job like parties and Christmas parties and gatherings and people like this one and it's a special val uh, memorable moment for me and my girlfriend because I met her when I was wearing this one so yeah Dior has my heart and has a lot of my money so this is number four Dior Sauvage EDT definitely check out this one the EDP and the Parfum one I don't like the Parfum one but you might like it Definitely check all three of them out. Number three is from the house of Dolce Gabbana, and it's a Dolce Gabbana Light Blue Sun Porum EDT. So, this one here is a fragrance that is a fresh, sea salty vibe, suntan lotion. Maybe it's, I get hints of the smell of a coconut vibe. This is a great summer and spring fragrance. This one I wouldn't want to wear in the fall and winter unless you want to smell like. The summertime, the holiday time, but my girlfriend got this for me for my birthday. I was gonna buy my own fragrance for my birthday, and she's like, "I want to buy your fragrance for your birthday." So I'm very excited about that. Like I don't ask somebody to buy me anything for my birthday. Ninety percent of the time, I buy my own stuff. But she wanted to buy me a fragrance. So I wanted a smaller bottle of this when I went to um, Lord and Taylor's uh, in the King of Prussia Mall in Philadelphia. Um, so. They didn't have the smaller size, they had a bigger size, and they had a promotion code if you donate to the Girl Scouts um, and Boy Scouts community, you get a 15% off code. So she think she donated $5 and got a 50% off code for this. So I got this for like, I think it was like 65, 70 bucks instead of paying almost uh, 80 something bucks for it. So she like, she said like 15 bucks maybe. Anyway, um, this one's nice because she got it for me. I liked it and she enjoyed it too. And it's a special amount of value because she bought this for me and I didn't ask for anything for my birthday. Like, I always buy my own stuff, but when my girlfriend got me a bottle, she, I really, it really means that she really appreciates me and just loves me. And I really do appreciate that. You know, I had some rough dating experience before I met her and I'm at ease now, thankfully. Um, a lot of ups and downs, but this fragrance is great. I enjoy wearing it spring and summer. This one or the um, Don't You Buy a Light Blue Oh Extreme Blue one, that one's good too. Either one you get, they're both good. I know some people like that one more than this one. Nevertheless, this is great for the spring and summer, and I like wearing it a lot. So, my number three is Dolce Gabbana Light Blue Sun Porum EDT. Mason Francis Kirchhoff <laughs> It's no other than Jennifer Whitty Silver. So this one right here is a, there is coriander in this fragrance here. There is a freshness in it. There is a greeniness in this fragrance. Something like I would call a uh, G.I.T. or Green Irish Tree from the House of Creed. It has that opening smell of like that fragrance because it is kind of like a green fragrance. It's kind of fresh and clean. Uh, this is really good if you're looking for something upscale than your regular designer fragrances. Uh, a little pricey. I got this for a buck sixty-eight on their website. 
but at the stores it's regular like 225 but it takes about five to ten business days to get it from overseas uh, DHL off of their Mason Francis Kirchhoff website but definitely check it out I like this one a lot I have a full review on all these fragrances in this video uh, I'll leave down below so definitely check them all out this one here is a really nice one um, I bought I got a sample for free when I went to um, Neiman Marcus when I bought um, Frederick Mall Portrait of a Lady Travel Atomizer and the lady's like hey I saw you looking at this one a lot do you want a sample for free I'm like sure like you know a lot of places I buy my fragrances I don't ask for samples unless there's something I specifically really want and she was really nice I got samples of this and a bunch of other fragrances so shout out to you sales associate I can't say her name but thank you uh, for your privacy but yeah this one here this is awesome and the sample I went to the sample in like three days and the first day I wore it to work Three guys at work were like, yo, this fragrance smells good. What are you wearing? And they wanted to buy it themselves. I didn't even know about the fragrance that much. Like, I knew what it was called, but I didn't know what it was for anything. And then I uh, worked to work, and three people liked it. Three guys I worked with. So it does a lot of compliments. And then I let my girlfriend wear this when I finally bought it. And she had went to a, um, I think it was a baby shower she went to with some friends and family. And they get, she got some comments with this fragrance there, too. So this could be a unisex fragrance for men or for women so definitely check out Jennifer Whitty Silver. The last one on the list is from the house of Navitus Parfum and this is no other than Navis Parfum. This is a fragrance from the line of Steven from Red Lessons. Now if you don't know who Steven says he's a fragrance reviewer has over a hundred thousand subscribers so congratulations on that journey forever and ever you know that Steven. Um, this fragrance here was a fragrance I tried out before his line was actually released. I met up with him a few times and tried out a bunch of his fragrances from this line before they even released to the, the people out in the regular world that aren't fragrance heads. And this one was really awesome. It was a, it's a fresh, clean lemon fragrance. It has some sweetness in like towards the dry down, but this one is great. I done did countless of videos with Steven on my channel and his channel, and I met him two years ago. And Max Aroma with um, Freddie Frags, um, Gary from No Nonsense, Alf, Street Sense, um, Cuba Nose, um, Dre Drock, uh, Doc, uh, met him, and uh, my boy Christian from One of Quarter Fragrances. Shout out to you, boy, and your wife. I met all them guys there, and me and Steven talked a few times, and we met up, and I had the pleasure to um, have dinner with him, his wife, and his kid. And his family and we did a lot of videos together and he's always been there for support like I'm not the best youtuber I know that pair of those guys whatever I put out content as best as I can and I'm that dude that buys 98% of my fragrances don't get many sponsored videos and if I do I usually give back to people to watch my videos but he was nice enough we did a video of this on um, my channel this one and um, Oud Imperial they're both great this is good and Oud Imperial is good the Oud one and at the end of the video, he was like, hey, look, I know you got to go home later. He's like, do you want, uh, which, which is your favorite fragrance, this or Oud, uh, the Oud Imperial? I'm like, wow, that's a tough one. I'm like, I like this one. He said, hey, look, I got a free bottle for you can have for free, not the review or nothing. And that was a moment that will always live in my heart because he didn't have to do that. You know, I told Steve I was going to buy his fragrance my heart and money because he made a comment that most people can't do, make your own fragrance brand. Whether you guys like the brand or you don't, frankly, I don't give a shit. But um, he gave me this fragrance. I wear it a lot and I cherish it. And he's always been a great friend to me. And we still make videos together. Hopefully we'll make some more when his quarantine's over for his channel, my channel. We're going to make a probably top 10 or top 20 mint fragrance list. That's going to be lit. But I have to thank Steven just for always supporting me and always being able to have dinner with him and his family. With my girlfriend, had dinner with him and Carlos and um, Abraham and Kim Cowley too. And he, Steven's always been there for supporting me. And we met curious times um, at Perfumology for events and just talk about fragrances. And he's a great friend of mine. And I have to thank him for always supporting me. And this fragrance means a lot to me as a uh a very memorable moment in my life for sentimental value fragrance and if you haven't tried this fragrance out them definitely try this fragrance out if you like fresh and clean fragrances um this is a very high quality niche fragrance and i enjoy wearing it a lot and it puts a smile on my face when i wear this and it's an honor to have this fragrance in my collection from somebody that i watch a lot of videos and i learned so much from as a fragrance reviewer you know so steven shout out to you and your family i hope you're all doing safe 
So my number one is Novice by Novice Parfum. So if you guys like these type of videos and you're not subscribed to my channel, I hope you will consider clicking that subscribe button on the screen. It's free. I appreciate all your support. Um, what are your four sentimental fragrances? Leave your four down below. If you have less than four, that's fine. Leave your one or your two or your three or your four down below. If you want to see more fragrance related content, I have one video here and I have one video here. I'll see you guys in the next one. Cowboys for life.